Hello, hello everybody. It's Carol with Refunction Crafts. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today I'm going to do a video. I'm going to make a little handbag. And this is just a piece of velvety fabric that I had a big chunk of. I believe I got it from um, Gail over at Fava of Four. And I really like this fabric. It actually has like a little bit of a, a diamond pattern in it. And I just thought it was really pretty. It's very um, like a dark bluish green. It's not blue at all, really. It's green. But if I had to say it had a cast of any other color, it would be almost a bluish color in it. And I really like it. And I've been trying to come up with something that I could make with it. So what I did was I actually sewed this together um, just had a long piece of fabric and I cut off these corners and I sewed it on the inside and popped it right side out. You guys, I don't do sewing videos because I'm going to be honest with you, I do not sew well. So, um, you guys would laugh at me if you saw the way that I sew things. I do it in a way that I figure I can put it together and it's going to look okay and that's about it. So, Anyway, so that's what I did. I sewed the pouch part, and it's a very thick, almost upholstery type fabric. So this is going to hold up, you know, as far as the strength of this actual uh, piece here. Um, what it started out as, I, I was looking on Pinterest, and I had seen where people had made some <clears throat> little, like, envelope type uh pouches which I'm gonna I'm gonna do that um, but they did it with felt and that's what I want to do um, but I need to go get some other colors of felt so that I can so that I can do some some of what I really want to do um, so anyway I have some bits and pieces that I plan on trying to use in this but before I do that I just want to show you guys I made some more butterflies I've been oh and I made this lizard out of it was a paper lizard I cut it out and turned it into this I put some little rhinestones down its back and stuff this was just for fun it was something that I saw and I thought oh that's got neat colors in it so I went ahead and I made it I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if anything uh, maybe I'll give it away as a you know one of my little thank you gifts in one of my uh, purchases or something I don't know we'll see but I also made some more butterflies in some different um, uh, some different styles of butterflies that I wanted to show you guys. And I don't know this. These two have um, German glitter glass in them. I'm trying to see where you can see the sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see it or not because this lighting is so bad in this room that I can't get in a good spot where it there we go we got sparkle now so you can see they definitely have some sparkle in them um, and then I made some more sort of realistic style butterflies here um, well here's a couple of them these are not glittered they're just uh, resined but super duper pretty I wanted to do some that were a little more realistic too and then I did some of these which are really cool they um, half of them have glass glitter on them and the other half um, I put the glitter on this side and left this side just shiny but they came out really pretty but they've got the one side is is flowered so I thought, you know, I wanted to do some of those. I did this one, which is really pretty. And I put glass glitter on that one. And then I have some that I'm going to do that are like this one. I only did one of this one so far. But I'm going to do more. These are my favorites. These two here. Look how beautiful gorgeous these are I would like to have these in lots of colors because they came out just gorgeous and these have again glass glitter on one side and shiny on the other side but aren't those beautiful and then I took and I used my um, 
my ink pad and I inked them on the edges to kind of give that antique or vintage effect. And then what other ones do I have? Oh, and these, oh, I have these ones here that I did that are gorgeous as well. And I will be doing more of those. And these are just shiny, but they're really pretty. And I figured those could be used in a lot of things. Um, hold on, I dropped one. And before I roll over it with my chair, I need to get it. And then, let's see, that's another one of those. Then I did, I found some patriotic butterflies. And I love these. And I put glass glitter just along the edges where the stars are. But aren't those gorgeous? And I thought those would be cool to use for like a 4th of July type project or something. These are one of my favorites. They came out really gorgeous. And then I did these two, which is just a different um, patriotic look. And these are also gorgeous. I love them all. And this one, again, I put glass glitter over the stars. And I think those are all of the styles that I did in those. So I have a whole bunch of these I'm putting together for my shop. And I want my friend Judy to know, and you know who you are, Ethel. Um, <laughs> Judy Ethel. <laughs> um, I'm putting a patriotic one in your package that you just ordered from. So I just want to let you know that you're getting a patriotic one because I know you'll like that. And these are some other ones that I did. And then I really want to show you guys these. These are some, these were my happy accident butterflies. And oh my goodness, I'm going to be making a bunch of these, you guys. But these are a little more time consuming. And so I want to um, have time to work on them. And I'm just going to have to pop this off of here because I really need to show you guys. And I can put it back down. I need to show you guys what they really look like. These are, they turned out, they're clear. And it's all resin. And these flowers that are, that are in the resin are decals. And what I did was I accidentally made these. Um, and when I made the first one, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to make more. This is this one here. I think this one was the original accident. And this one, and some of these are already sold, you guys. I put them in my shop and some are already sold. So, um, but this one has the, the wings like it's flying. And you can see this is what the backs look like. Um, the, the decals were white on the back side, so they even look pretty on the back side, but they're just like white flowers. But look at how beautiful. This one actually has glass glitter in it. It's the only one I've done so far with the glass glitter, but I'm going to do some with and some without. And man, is that gorgeous, you guys. And then there's this one, which is done with pretty much the same flowers as in this big one, but it's a smaller butterfly. So there's that one. And I have sold, I want to say I've sold two of these already. I think I only have one more left in my shop, if I'm not mistaken. I did send one to my friend Diane. Um, because Diane buys lots and lots of my butterflies and I knew that she would really appreciate um, this is the wrong bag for this one I knew that Diane would really appreciate one of those clear ones and she had just placed an order um, or she had an order that was already in that I was sending her some stuff on so I did send her one of these, and then the funny thing is she didn't know it was coming, but she ended up ordering one of these as well. She ordered the, the one with the wings 
uh, that are up. There's only one that's like that so far, but I will make some more flat ones and some more. And I put, on these I did put ball chain on them. So they can be used as a purse charm or a, um, a Christmas tree ornaments, you name it. You could use them for a lot of things. And then this is a red one that I did and it turned out absolutely stunning. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I added some of my paper roses from Kiki Sale to these, which just made them that much more beautiful. So, um, yeah. So I've got all these beautiful butterflies, and I'm just going to put a dot of hot glue. So this is what I do with my packages, you guys. This one actually has a dangle on it. It's the only one that I put a dangle charm on, um, if you can see that. Um, but I just put a dot of glue on the back, and then all you have to do is pop it off. It won't hurt the item that you're purchasing, but it helps keep them in place in their packaging. So that's why I do that, you guys, in case you're ever wondering. When you buy from my shop, those kinds of things are always glued down. So so anyways, you guys, that's what I have going on. I will be getting those packaged up and in my shop um, shortly here. And again, Judy, you've got a patriotic one coming in your package. So I just want to let you know. Hopefully I don't forget to pop it in there, but I'm going to be making more of those. Um, Judy is my dear friend, and um, since I had made those and I didn't have them in my shop, I knew she would want one, so I am sending that to her. So that'll be in your package, Judy. Um, okay, so let's, let's read our quote of the day. Calling it quote of the day, there's a little girl on, uh, I see her videos on Reels on Facebook, and she is the most adorable little girl, and she comes on every day and she says, okay, you guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the quote of the day. Cutest thing you ever saw, cute as a button, but she does these quotes, and I just love watching her little videos. And so my quote of the day is and it's it's very um appropriate you are the artist of your own life don't hand the paintbrush to anyone else how cool is that that's me in a nutshell so um yeah so that's my quote of the day so what we're going to do with this um and i hope i can do this in a reasonable amount of time um we are, I'm just trying to think of where I want to start. I'm, I'm kind of debating on this lace here if I want to use, this is just some of the Dollar Tree lace. Um, I, I may be using a little bit of that here or there, but the first thing that I think I need to put down on this is I'm going to use this ruffle and I'm going to go around whoops, this part of the bag. I'm only going to take it to right there. I do need to fold this end piece under, though, because I don't want it to look all frayed and not pretty. So I'm just going to glue that down, just like that. And then I have a couple of little spots here that are a little bit frayed and or sticking out. So I'm just going to nip those off. Okay, so we're ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to start it right there, just kind of going over the lip just a little bit. And I'm just going to do this all the way around this front edge. And we are going to not sew this on. We are going to glue it on. You guys know me. Like I said, I don't sew on camera. 
So if it's anything I'm doing on camera, you know it's going to be hot glued. Unless it's just something quick that needs a little needle and thread that I can sew, you know, real quick on camera, I am going to do it this way. If I can't, if there's any way I can glue it, I'm gluing it. So I'm just kind of taking it along my little seam line here, my sew line. I, I It's so funny, you guys would laugh at me because right now my, um, my sewing machine is actually in our spare bedroom sitting on top of my ironing board because I really just don't iron all that much anymore unless usually it's unless I'm doing a project that I need to iron a fabric for but for the most part I don't iron a lot so my sewing machine I used it one day and I when I was done I just sat it on top of my ironing board well it's been on top of my ironing board for eh, a couple of weeks now and I've used it countless times just because it's out. So maybe that's what I need to do is just leave it out so that when I do have something I want to sew, I will be more apt to sew it so that I don't, you know, when I don't have to take my little sewing machine case out and pull everything out and plug it in and all that good stuff, it's ready to go. So... I'm leaving it there for now. Okay, so I'm going to cut this right here, I think. My scissors are just a mess because I've been using them to cut some of my resin stuff, and I shouldn't do that, but I have just because it's easy. And we've got that folded under, and that should be okay. Probably got a slight bit more on this side. I'm trying to make it look even to both sides. Okay, so that's that. We've got that around the lip, and that looks really cute already. Okay, so next I'm trying to determine do I want to use this lace or don't I? Because I've got this beautiful sangria satin rose that I made that I want to use in this because I think greens and this sangria color are really pretty together. So this is just a rose that I made, a rolled rose, and then I also have some uh, chiffon, a couple of chiffon roses that I made that are kind of in the purple family. So, um, and then this matches as well. So I thought, you know, do I want to use a little bit of this? And I, I'm just playing here. I definitely don't want to use it on the top, but I was thinking that I might like to use it on the bottom half, but then I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to leave that off. I think we're going to just do this with a little less um, lace around everything. I do want to put a piece of this lace at the lip here. So, again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it over just slightly. And then I'm going to take it to where the seam is. So let me cut this side. And I'm going to fold this side over. Just put a dot of glue going across there. So we've got that done. So now I'm just going to the seam right here. And I will just put a dot of glue there and pop that right over that seam. Okay, 
So now we're just going to kind of go across here, trying not to use too much glue because I don't want to have a ton of ooze coming through this lace. And then I'm thinking I will do something with this. Maybe use it as the um, sort of packaging, so to speak, for some kind of little kit or something. And again, we're going to take this right over, and I think I cut it just a little bit short, but we're okay. We got there. Okay, so we've just got that little piece of lace going across there so that when you open it, it looks pretty. Then I'm going to take, and again, folding this over. I'm going to go around, I'm not going to cut the other end yet, I'm going to go around from right here on the inside and around this edge. Because I really want to make sure this, I want it to look pretty from the inside out. So, the only way to do that is to cover up these little seams that I've got here. And I thought this lace is actually really perfect for that purpose. Go just like that. Okay. And then we'll sort of fold it over and start going in this direction. Okay. And I knew I had enough of this lace to be able to do what I wanted to do with it. So I have to go to work today, so that's why I'm hoping that this video doesn't take too, too long. Because as soon as I get done with this, I have to go get ready for work. Yay! I so badly do not want to go to work today, but I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I'm on the schedule, so I gotta be there. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just going to cut this right about there, get that out of my way, and I'm going to fold this end over, and take it to the inside. So I'm just going to pop this over a little bit, or open a little bit I should say, and we'll just be putting it right in there. And I'm just putting a couple of dots of glue here and there to hold that down in place at the edges so that it sits nicely. And this side's already done. Okay. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And it looks nice and sort of finished compared to what it looked like before. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. That might have been pretty on there. This is very thick, though. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do... is okay let's see so the other thing that I have is I have some of this lace trim that I got from Debbie over at Kiki sale and I definitely want to use some of this on here um, I think I'm going to put it on the bottom section I have a couple of these but it scares me to use these because I'm afraid then I won't have any more. I have one more piece besides these two pieces, and then I don't have any more. So a big part of me doesn't want to use too much in this, so I was really only planning on using one piece. Um, I just have to determine where I want to use this, because we're going to go on the top here. And we will cut this lace up as needed so that I'm not wasting any of it because what I don't use, see we're going to go something like that, but <clears throat> originally I had planned on having this down here and putting the flowers up here and then maybe, you know, having some other kind of lace sort of coming out from those flowers, not necessarily that. Um, the other thing I have is I have some of this pretty lace I could take and put a piece of this sort of there and then do the flowers on top of that. But then I kind of feel like I'm busying it up too much. So that's something I don't want to I don't want to busy it up with too many things that aren't necessary because I do have some of these other items that I'd like to add to it as well. These I'm planning on using at the bottom. These and this fringe. So, um Oh, and I have one of my butterflies here. Oh, it's got the wrong color flowers in it. Where's the other one that I had? I had another one up here. I just have to find it. I know it's right here somewhere because I put it here. And it's just a plain butterfly with no flowers in it yet. Keyword yet. Oh, is this it? Here it is. Yeah. So let's just clean this little butterfly up because I really think I'm going to use it on here somewhere. And again, this is one that I got from Debbie over at Kiki Sale. And this one just has some pearls in it, but we will probably put a couple of little uh, flowers on it as well. Sorry, I've got glue in my fingernails and it's making me crazy. And when you clean these up, you have to clean up that little top butterfly too because they both have, um, it's like a double layered butterfly and they both have that mesh on them. So. We've got that. And I think oh, these are too red. Okay, can't use that. Sorry, you guys. I just need to put some things aside here because I'm trying to get to some other flowers that are over here. 
I don't know if these will go or not, but I'm going to check it out and see. Those are pretty purple. Nope. Those will not work. So, <clears throat> now I just have to determine what flowers I can use to enhance this butterfly. I have a little bowl here with some little flowers here and there. These will work because that's not a bright purple in that one. Not exactly the color that I wanted, but they will work. Or I could just go with some plain little flowers. I've got a couple of these little fabric ones and those are probably the best thing for me to use in this. Let's see, I'm looking to see if I have enough of those to go around. I think I only have a couple of them in here. This is just where I've like kind of dropped some flowers in. I don't know what's in here. These are all little teeny tiny flowers. Mm. Well, let's see what we can do with this. I think that pink one's not going to work. So we'll just leave that out. So I have a little white one and two cream colored flowers. And that will cover this butterfly just nicely. Sorry, you guys, I got a message from my husband. He is not here right now. He's going to be driving home from Las Vegas um, today. He's out with his cousin. He was helping him to do some stuff, sort of consulting him to do some electrical work because in his day, my husband is a... Uh, licensed electrician contractor. He's actually a licensed general contractor too. Um, but um, his cousin needed some help figuring out his electrical stuff out in Vegas so Jeff drove out there to give him a hand. So he will be on his way home shortly. I just love this butterfly. Isn't that so beautiful? Okay, so we have a butterfly now. I just added a couple of fabric flowers to it. And so that's ready to go. And I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do this fringe. Now this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, with this fringe, it tends to want to wrap around itself. I just have to figure out which is the front and which is the back. Okay, this is the front. So, I'm going to start right here at sort of at the back part of this with gluing this down. Because I want the end to be on the back, so... And as we go around, we will just make sure all of these fringes are flipped around the right way. And we're just going to go across the bottom.
So I get a little quiet when I'm doing stuff like this, you guys, because I'm trying to make sure that I get everything on there just right. So I'm sorry, when I get a little quiet, you know I'm just deep in concentration and I forget that I'm doing a video and that I need to have conversation. <laughs> hardened before I got to it and I'm going around the entire bag got a little teeny bit of ooze out there but I'm not worried too worried about that because I am going to go across the top of this fringe with um with something else so we're all right okay and right here we're going to squish it together a little bit because i just realized there's a tiny little spot there where there's no fringes I need to kind of squish that together like that and pretend that it was always together and oh my goodness gracious you guys look at that I don't have enough fringe to go all the way around I swear I tested this thinking it was going to be just perfect, but you know what I wasn't doing is I wasn't stretching it as I was going to its full potential, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. Can't worry about that. And there's a couple of fringes that are a little bit long, so we'll just cut those to match the rest. So that's what that looks like. Doesn't that look pretty? And again, don't worry about that little spot that doesn't have anything in it. I will find a way to make that right. And then we're going to put these beads across the, just the front side. So again, we're going to fold this end over. And knit that, and we're going to fold this end over. Oops, what did I do? Like that. And I got a couple of threads here. I almost did this side backwards. Oh my goodness. My problem is is that I've got I've actually got some a little bit of resin stuck on these scissors. So they want to stick to things. I need to get them cleaned off with some alcohol. And I just haven't done that yet. So that's going to go right across there, and I think it's going to look very pretty having those beads sort of going through there as well. So, just going to put a little dot on this edge, and then we're just going to go right across the top of this fringe. And that looks so, so, so pretty. Okay. 
I think I've got this side just a little bit too long, so we're going to redo the fold over here. And glue this side down. Got a little extra glue on there, but that's okay. Okay. That looks really, really pretty. I love it. Okay. So next. I wonder, 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 wonder if maybe I should take a little bit of that lace. Where did I put it? Oh, wait a minute. Where's my box of laces? I have a very pretty lace that I really, really like. And I think I'm going to see it's a white lace though that's the only thing that might make me not use it but I think it's so fine that I think it will be okay to use across there it actually does look very pretty so I think which side's the front okay this is the front Yeah, I think I do want to use a bit of this going just across here. And hopefully I can get just a fine amount of glue going across here to lay this on. And this kind of helps to smooth out that satin that's behind it. you know how satin can kind of get a little bit lumpy bumpy when you glue it down and that lace will make sure that you don't see any of that lumpy bumpiness and then we're going to glue this edge down And then I think I'm going to go across this back half as well. Yes. But I feel like I want to try I'm just debating on if I want to put a piece of this going across here or maybe just actually that lace would have probably worked a little bit better going across the bottom you know what I think I'm gonna go over it with that because I think this actually works a little bit better and this covers up that little spot where I didn't get my fringe all the way around. And I need to heat this up a little bit. And we're going to start right here in the back. Yeah, I think this lace is better. I love that other lace that I put on the front, but I think this is going to be a better choice because it's already on the purse on the inside and I think it will do it will give it the look more of the look that I'm trying to achieve because it's a heavier lace and that fine lace is probably just going to get lost okay yeah that looks way better 
So we'll just keep on going around and we'll just cover this other lace. You're not going to even know it's there once I put this on there. So I'm not going to bother with pulling the other lace off. We're just going to go right over the top of it. Yep, I think this was a good idea. Sometimes we make mistakes like that. Like I said with those butterflies, it was kind of a... I made a very happy mistake with those. And I was so excited when the first butterfly came off the assembly line, <laughs> so to speak that I was just like, oh my goodness, I got so excited. I ran outside and showed my husband um, what I had done. He was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad you did that. And everybody's been asking me, is you know, where did you get the mold for those butterflies? There is no mold. <laughs> I don't have a mold, you guys. I promise. No, we're not going to use that. Okay. So now, let's get our beautiful piece of trim. And you can see on this trim, a couple of the sequins have actually yellowed a little bit. It's a vintage lace. I'm not worried about that. I, that's part of the look of this whole thing. Part of me is thinking maybe I just want to go all the way across the bottom like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Decision made. And I can't turn back now. Okay, almost there you guys. This would be a nice little bag to put like a, a vintage, um, a, a small vintage journal in or something like that. It would be a nice little holder for something like that, I think. Okay, now. No, okay. Um, I'm just checking. <laughs> You guys know me. I'm never satisfied with just one first look at anything. I've always got to try something else and think, oh my gosh, should I have done that or should I have done this? I'm debating on putting a piece of this across here, but I feel like it just kind of, it's too spread out. 
And you know, you guys, I know I have some other laces around here that I could use in this, not that. Um, but I, they're not real close at hand, so I'm just going to do this with the things that I have set out in front of me. Need to take a little drink. Okay, so... feel like I need something here. Let me cut a little piece of this off. Let's see if maybe a piece of this might go in there nicely. just so that it sort of peeks out from here. I might need to have another one coming off the other side because I, I do want this to look even. So let me just cut one more scallop off of here. And clean it up real quick. These scissors are just not cutting real well because I've got stuff all over them, but so it's taking a little longer than it normally would. Usually I can cut these things up and clean them up real quick. Okay. Maybe I'll just put two of those together on the one side because this comes up on this side and it really covers that nicely. So I think, I think I'm just going to lay a couple of these down like that. And I'm going to go grab some doilies real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Get this thing turned around a little bit. Okay. All right, um, so I did find some doilies, but I also found this, and this is kind of cool. This is something that Debbie over at Kiki Sale sent me, and I was thinking if I put a little piece where I'm not covering up my beautiful piece here, that might look kind of pretty, just kind of draping down underneath and then a piece on top so we're gonna go for it you guys and we're gonna cut this between a couple of these fringy things on the bottom this is like um, it looks like it was like a collar on a dress or a piece of a dress or something that got cut off We'll let it kind of drape over. So if we do that, it looks really pretty. It really does. It makes it, gives it that vintagey, cool feel. And then maybe a piece kind of going across the front with the flowers going sort of over it, I think. Maybe on this side. Look at that it looks really pretty I like it I think I like it or I could even take this piece I could have taken that and used it no we don't want to do that 
um, or maybe just a couple of these sort of coming over off to one side like that would be pretty. Or, oh, I just had an idea. Um, but I have to cut some of these off. I don't know how this is going to work. So I was thinking maybe I would use... You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this off right here. Just like that. And then... Because it looks pretty kind of draping over that ruffle. And then just sort of work our other flowers in like that. That looks pretty, you guys. I like it. Okay, so... Let's work on this piece real quick. And I'm sure some of you are going, no, don't do it. But you know what? I'm going to I'm going to take a risk. Because I really think it it kind of gives it more of that vintagey feel, which is kind of what I'm going for here. So, we're going to do this, you guys. Take a risk. And I just think that the end piece is going to be really, really beautiful. And I'm trying to finagle this around so that I'm not covering all of my beautiful lace that's underneath here. And I've managed to accomplish that, I think. Oh, I like it. I do have some doilies here as well. I thought that might be a pretty doily to put in here, or this, although I think the color is a little off. Yeah, that's too pink. Or maybe just a little piece of a small doily kind of popping out here. I do I don't want to cover up all of the fabric I still have this butterfly that I want to pop in there somewhere I think I might put that down towards the bottom though like right about there is what I'm thinking I definitely like the butterfly down here. I think I'll put it like right there. That's a good spot for you. You're going. Right there. Okay. And it's time for some glue. So let's see here, let's put this down. And maybe even put that sort of under that, like there.
We're coming out like that. And somebody's car alarm is going off. Okay, or maybe we could just use a couple of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to cut this off right here. And I'm going to have these sort of coming out right there and going along the edge of that. Nope. That actually kind of looks pretty layered on top of there, just kind of popping out the edge. I kind of like that. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead here just a dot of glue right there and it's going to drive me crazy until I get rid of it. There. And there. And I'm going to heat this flower up just a little bit underneath. By doing this, I'm just trying to crinkle this flower up just slightly. Sometimes I like to do this just to kind of give it a little bit different look. Just kind of pulls everything together. And I'm going to go like that. Maybe I should put this one... Yeah, I like that. I like that. I think that's good. The other thing that I could do, you guys, I do have, and this would take it in a little bit different direction, and this might even be better. I've got some cream-colored rolled roses. These actually are better, I think. I think maybe this is what I need to do. I think that looks better, and I hope you guys agree. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. This is a velvet rolled rose that I did. But I don't think we need that color in there. But I'm I'm really thinking that these cream colored rolled roses are better for this. That looks good, just like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. You know how sometimes at the last minute you find you look at something and you go, wait a minute, I have these, or wait a minute, that color is just not perfect 
do I have another color that is? And you find it and you go, oh, I'm so glad I found that. And this is one of those times. I think these cream ones are going to do this a little bit more justice and it keeps a little extra color out of it so that we don't have too many contrasting colors going on. I'm just looking to see if this would be pretty as kind of a... That looks very pretty. I think we're going to do that. So, we're just going to go for it, you guys. And I'm going to sort of shove that together like that. Put a little more glue under there. And there we go. Okay, so there's that. Maybe I should just glue a little bit more of this down so it doesn't flop too much. Okay. And the other thing we're going to put on there is I have this little um, charm that says beautiful on it. So we are going to add this charm. I think we'll put it over here. Okay, make sure I grabbed enough of the fabric there. Just have that hanging from there. Okay. I don't know about that one. That one's kind of almost a mustardy color. Too much. Too much, too much. That doily looks really pretty in there, but I don't know that it's really necessary. I don't want to waste it. Okay. So, I also have a couple of pieces of bling, and I'm going to try and decide what I want to do, which, which bling I want to use and where. I also have this little heart, and actually that would be pretty sort of just popping out somewhere and it's not real heavy. That looks pretty right there. I like that. Oh, goes good just between the flowers right here too. I think we're gonna put this heart right here. Okay. And let's see. Nope. Don't need that. Um, I'm thinking I'm trying to think if I have anything that I could put along there. I'm thinking I might use this as my strap. I'm debating between that and this little chain here. The chain is pretty. 
and actually this went better with those other flowers and I'm not using those now so maybe that's not such a great idea I could use a piece of lace that would actually look nice on here I could just take a piece of the lace that we already used on this and use that that would be actually really nice I think the lace is a good idea and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it across the entire inside here just need to determine where it's got to go so that the Yeah, that looks really pretty with that. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll start putting this lace across the middle here. It's got a crease in it right there, so I'm trying to get that crease out. Let's put it right about there. And it's not like this is going to be a heavy bag you know for it to hang off this lace so that should work really well because this is a heavy lace so that should be perfect to use on this just get it right there and let's see question is how long do we want this to be and I think not too long. I think we'll go about like that. And I'm going to cut this right here. And I took those other two little pins out because I thought if I used the chain, I was going to use those pins to pin it to the sides but since I'm not using the chain I don't think I'll be using those little pins and I think I'm actually going to bring the glue around and sort of glue it to right there so that it comes up and around a little bit and we will do the same thing on this side just bring it around a little bit and hopefully voila there we go. It worked. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that so soon because it wasn't cured yet. Silly me. Okay, so there's that. And I was really feeling like I needed to have this in here somewhere. would be pretty there but then the butterfly has to be able to get its wings over it um, I feel like I do need one more piece of bling so let's get the bling box out This would have been pretty in there too. It's got the right colors in it. Okay. Um, right there.
This is just a blingy circle piece. I've got a little ladybug right here. It's blue, but it really is super cute. And I think it would actually be really cute on that. And then I also have a pretty butterfly, but that's way too big. Uh, let's see, you guys. I'm so sorry about the moving around of all these little bits and pieces. That looks kind of pretty. I was trying to think if I had something that I could just kind of pin on there. Well, that would have been pretty in there too. I don't know. The ladybug is blue, so it probably doesn't go. But if I pin that on there, how would that look? It just doesn't show up enough. That's very pretty. This is just a piece of bling that I've got in my arsenal here. I thought that might be pretty just to pop that in there. And this does not have a closure on it, you guys. Um, I didn't make it to have a closure. Oh, this already has glue on it. I must have been going to use it on something else and didn't. There we go. Um, so, yeah, it does not have a closure on it. That's the only thing that's missing. And that's the one area that I always struggle with. There's center is uh, doing doing closures because I'm not um, experienced in that I should say. And so I know all I really need to do is a button we're going to use this button cover right over here. I know all I need to do is use a button and, a, and an elastic bit, but I just haven't done it before, and so I always just opt out of it. Okay, you guys, so there it is. We have our little beautiful, beautiful, fringy handbag. Handmade from start to finish. And look at it. It came out so gorgeous. I will add pictures at the, the back end of the video um, so that you guys can see close up what it looks like. Let's see if I can bring you in just slightly closer so that you guys can get a little bit closer view. Just like that of what it looks like. It's gorgeous. It came out really, really, really nice, you guys. Um, maybe if I turn that off, you guys can see the colors a little bit better. It's a little bit darker in here, but I think it's a little more muted, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So that's it, you guys. I thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed doing it. Now, I may come up with, not may, I know I will, something to do on the back of this. I just don't have a clue right now what that should be because I didn't prepare myself for that. But I will probably do something on the back of this as well. And when I do, I will add pictures of that. I mean, I could, I could take a little piece of this. Actually, that looks cute, doesn't it? I think that's what we're going to do. We might as well do that right now. And I could also put a little piece of this lace. I wish this hadn't 
fold it under. Okay, we could put a little piece of this lace going across there, from there to there. So that actually folds under. Okay, so there to there, and yeah, we're going to do that, you guys, real quick. Let me get that on there. I'm going to cut this here because it's not folded. And we will fold this under. And fold this under. Just like that. And I'm going to just go across here. Just like that. and press this down. There. And then we'll get this and put it on there. I think this is a good, it kind of finishes it off and it matches the front. So I think this is a really good idea. And I'm just going to go across the edges here. Get this put down. Just like that. Just like that, we have a back. So, this came out super pretty, you guys. And I'm going to show you really quick, um, before I let you go, let's uh, take... I don't have a journal that I can just pop out right now close by, but... I've got, let's see if one of these will fit in there. I have one of my little uh, post-it note uh, bifold things that I do sometimes. I'm going to pull this out of here. So it's one of these. So it would be about the size of a mini journal. Pop that in there if it fits. Uh oh, well, it's a little bit too big. So, oh well, that didn't work, you guys. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to fit, but because of the the seam on the inside, it's it's a little bit too big to get in there. I mean, I could probably force it in, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so anyway. That is it, you guys. There's our inside, there's our front, and there's our back. Super duper cute. So, again, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, stay safe, stay well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would so greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And make a comment down below and give me a thumbs up, you guys. I need those thumbs up really bad so that I can get my channel to grow. Um, the last couple of videos I've done, I, you know, they weren't, um, you know, any of my real big vi videos, but didn't get a lot of thumbs up. So now the last few days I haven't been, uh, YouTube hasn't been putting me in front of a lot of other um, people. So I need those thumbs up, you guys, so that I can get um, positioned in the algorithm so that I can start getting more um, subscribers. I'm almost to the 8,000 subscriber mark. Those thumbs up will help me to get there even sooner, and I will be doing a giveaway um, So, uh, for my 8,000 subscriber, and who knows, maybe this will be it. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be something else that I make. But um, I would greatly appreciate you guys uh, giving me those thumbs ups and, and comments. Let me know what you thought of this or what you might have done differently. Because um, I appreciate your ideas and things. And I may do another one of these soon. So um, your ideas will help me you know, when I go to do my next one. Thanks so much, you guys. Again, stay safe, stay well. Take care of yourselves first and then everyone else. Um, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Stay, stay tuned for pictures at the end. Bye-bye.